What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and no, this is not our normal Land Rover Discovery. We are today in a retro Jeep, like a little Jeep from the 90s. I thought it was something cool to do while we're cool. in Cape Town. We're really hoping for some nice weather, but sadly it is pouring and it's yeah. supposed to pour for the next several hours. <laughs> so that is not gonna stop us. Today we are planning a little road trip around Cape Town, yeah. uh, Boulders Beach, where Cape the penguins Point. are because they're my favorite animals. Then up to Cape Point, um, and basically just, I don't know. Cape Point is really cool, is where like the oceans are meeting. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. go check that out. Hopefully, since it's raining, we're gonna be the only tourist there, so that's cool. That's and plus. the rest of the day, I don't know. We're gonna end up in Stellenbosch, which is our next destination. Yeah. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so the Jeep is parked. We got a little wet. I'll explain why later. Um, <laughs> we got a discount on the Jeep, but it's not for nothing. So we just arrived at Boulders Beach. We were told that uh, walk 300 meters down that road and there is loads and loads of penguins. <laughs> How's my uh, South African accent? We got the parking lot, that's what he said. <laughs> Still raining, but it's not gonna stop us. Even though they look adorable and everything, penguins will bite, so don't pet the penguins. So guys, these penguins can only be found on the coastline of South Africa and Namibia, also in Africa, and they're actually on the verge of extinction. And this is why the, uh, the site here is now a, a natural protected site. So behind me right now, I would say there's over a hundred penguins. And the crazy thing is that back in 1982, there were only two breeding couple. And now today, in 2022, there's over 3,000s of them. So they, they reproduce uh, pretty fast, much faster than us. Then I'm back to the track. So this place cost 170 Rand and that's for the international rate yeah. and all the money goes towards conservation so you you might hear that there's another beach a little further up where you can actually go without paying but because i like penguins and i'm all about saving the penguins i don't mind paying 170 rand that was really cool i i liked it so yeah on the way here we got wet a little bit because like i said earlier so this jeep uh, we only paid what was it like 27 150 which compared to a lot of other uh, dealership or people that rent cars it's very cheap it's about 50 percent of the uh, of the rate on the negative side i mean if you don't mind not having a radio a back window and a couple holes in your in the top i mean i think the only reason we really <laughs> noticed it today is just because it's raining yeah if it wasn't but raining meh i like i like that it's all beat up yeah. for me it just it smells like adventure mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you save money. Back on the road, next stop, let's see if we can find Cape Point. I think that's what it's called. I am made to be free. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So we just entered the Cape Point park area basically in order to reach Cape Point you have to pay a fee to get in um, and it was 360 Rand per person so a little bit more expensive than Boulder's Beach and they don't even have penguins what am I paying <laughs> for here <laughs> but I'm excited because already the scenery is stunning so I was kind of waiting for the rain to stop to be able to come outside and show you the Jeep but basically oh I love the lights on it's a good thing that we did that so basically this is like an old Jeep, I would say probably like a 1998 Sahara. And it's it's nice to bomb around in. There's a lot of things missing, but, but we love it. Tracy actually wants to I, keep it. I actually want it. <laughs> okay, so now we are here at Cape Point and you can either walk all the way up or take the tram. I think we're gonna take the tram because it looks pretty cool. <laughs>
So right now we are walking to the southest point of Cape Point, which is technically, I guess, the second southest point of the African continent. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, but that is the actual southest point of the African continent. Now, when we arrive at the end of Cape Point, we should be able apparently to see the two oceans meeting. And I think I already see it a little bit from a distance. And if it's that, like, it's really impressive. Like it's, it's a straight line. So out here at the southern point of like Cape Point, you can actually see a line of where the oceans meet. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's super cool to see. Like, yeah, I like it. Now let's go all the way back up and all the way back down. We gotta refuel because there's actually a lot left to see. Um, so we're gonna see if we can get something quick At on the, the go. food shop. Thank you very much. Also, if you don't want to drive yourself around to all of those very touristy points, you can take those buses. Normally, it's not too too expensive, not cheap either, but you know, headache free. So we just arrived at Cape of Good Hope and apparently according to the sign this is the most southern west western south southern west southwestern part southwestern part of the African <laughs> continent. Good thing she's no, that's, there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. As far southwest as you can go. Yeah. And the view is very very nice. So when we went uh, cage shark diving a couple days ago, we saw a bunch of fishermen and apparently they were fishing some squids and the captain of the boat told us that Simon Sound is renowned for their squid. So we're gonna find one of the little restaurants on the main road and see if it's that good. So we are here at the Lighthouse Cafe, which according to TripAdvisor, this is where you need to come and eat calamari. So we'll see if they're that good. Okay, so here's the squid or calamari, first bite. Oh my goodness. Normally it's kind of like chewy, but this literally like melts in your mouth. Like it is so good. You gotta try it. Okay, my turn to try it out. Oh wow. It's so nice. Yeah. That's very good. Well, if you like seafood and want to try the famous calamari in Simon's Town, the Lighthouse Cafe it is. Agreed? Tracy? It was very, very good. Sorry, <laughs> distracted. We're vlogging here. Try to participate. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, it wouldn't be a road trip without a monster. And no, by the way, they're still not sponsoring us. Maybe one day. I'll keep drinking it though. So we just did a quick stop uh, at the hotel that we stayed to pick up our luggage because we're switching hotels. Yeah. And we just wanted to give a big shout out at Head South Lodge. So first of all, when we first came in, Yasmin, as we mentioned in the first video, mm -hmm. she was absolutely fantastic and then Jeff is the owner and he came in and introduced himself yeah, in one of very the helpful like if you need anything there's no trouble going to anyone yeah. at that hotel and be like hey yeah. or even if you had questions I had questions yeah. about do's and don'ts and everything like that yeah. they're amazing and on the plus side while we were loading our luggages we found the radio yeah. for this truck so now we have music now let's head off to Stellenbosch
place an order for room service. I'll have the chipotle chicken wrap and the ostrich fan filet. Um, Tracy just ordered room service. I'm gonna try ostrich for the first time. And the guy was like, how would you like your ostrich? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was like, never asked that in my entire life. I never <laughs> tried ostrich. Yeah. <laughs> it said medium, so we'll see how it is. <laughs> okay. A little room service, didn't do that in a while. No, no. I'm excited about ostrich, I think. Yeah, I want to try a bite of it for sure. It just looks like steak. It looks like a steak. Let me show y'all. Oh my ostrich. This is what it looks like. Like, it looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. I'm sorry but this wrap too, like, I got chipotle chicken wrap. There's like onion rings and everything. Mmm. This look really good. A little sauce. If somebody would be like, here's your steak, sir, and I would eat it all, I would never know it's ostrich. Are we sure it's ostrich? Did they mess it up? <laughs> no, no, it is. It's, it's try good. Bit? It's really good. No. <laughs> yeah. Tastes mm -hmm. like steak. But like tender. Yeah. Very tender, yeah. That is really tender. That is good. All right. That is so good. Big fan. This is a very nice hotel in like one country, so we're gonna be in one country for the next pretty much four days, different activities, mm -hmm. biking, tram and everything. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. But for this video, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that it's totally worth it to like rent a car and like go drive around. It was super fun. Um, everything that we did is like worth it, except like point of good hope. Like that's, I mean, if you have an extra 10 minutes, like do it. But oh, yeah, yeah. otherwise, yeah. not necessarily worth it. We really wanted to go on top of Table Mountain today too, but like it was really, really covered. So we yeah. might push that a We're few gonna days. We're going to try and figure a way around that. But that, I think that's one thing that we have always done and it works well for us, I find, is renting a car. Yeah, it's so um, fun to yeah. have like the freedom. Like honestly, our first year road trips, well road trips, yeah, basically, we we drive. Like we never Ubered or anything, we yeah. just drive everywhere. Um, so if you're up for that, if you're confident driving in different countries because that's, yeah. I'm not, that's why he drives. I would definitely recommend doing And that. like, to be honest, even though this Jeep was like, <laughs> couldn't put my window down all the way, didn't have a window in the oh, back, man. didn't have a radio for half the day because nobody told us and had a, a, a <laughs> hole in the roof. Believe it or not, I would still recommend it. <laughs> I want that Jeep. And we paid for it, okay? Like, this is not <laughs> sponsored or anything. No. Um, the guy is so nice mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, don't worry about it if you go over the extra two, it, it comes with 200 kilometers. It's like, don't worry about it. I won't charge you and everything. Basically because he knew we had so a crappy nice. day of weather. Yeah. He's like, hopefully it'll just make up for the rain. <laughs> yeah. And even though we paid like, it's, it's, uh, it, it's 1,500 per day. Technically mm -hmm. we paid some extra because he has to come all the way to Stellenbosch to like get Pick the car back and everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, even though it's kind of broken and everything, there's nothing that tells that says more adventure car than a Jeep like that. Oh, so I still highly recommend it. And if you ever rent that car, the radio's in the trunk. Otherwise, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>